Today I'm going to share with you Kung Fu in kitchen. It's a time to make some lovely Kung Fu dishes. But first, allow me to make some magic. Are you ready? Three, two, and one. Pinwa. Hello everyone. Welcome to Kung Fu Live YouTube channel. Today we're going to uh, show you how to make broccoli with ginger and spring onion. So this is the basic ingredients we're going to use, and we're also going to use a red um, bell, what do you call it, pointed peppers to make it more tasty and pretty. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to give everything a wash. you don't have to get the bamboo one. So the stock of the broccoli is actually very nice. You can eat it. So don't have to throw it away. Just cut away the outside parts and have the and eat the inside inside parts. Okay so this is ready to be steamed. So we put it onto the uh, steamer. We just use boiled water. So we steam this on kind of medium to high heat for about 5 minutes. So while we wait for this to be steamed, we can prepare the uh, red pepper and the spring onion and ginger. Cut the red peppers quite, quite thin so that it can, we're going to grill this. This is this part is optional. If you you can just you can leave out this if you don't want it. But we like it because from uh, cooking over this dish, dish uh, cooking this dish over the last I don't know how many years, twenty something years, uh, we've tried different ways of um, cooking this dish, and this is our favorite way at the moment uh, because the sweetness of the red pepper blends in very well with the broccoli. We're going to cut the ginger into like thin strips, slice it first, and then we just cut it into long strips. Again, the spring onions, similar to the ginger, into long strips. It's just been steaming for about five minutes and it's ready. We don't want to overcook it, so it's still got a green color. We leave it aside uh, for it to cool down a little bit. Um, remember to lift the lid off because if you keep the lid on it too long, then the broccoli, the steam will make the broccoli quite soggy. So yeah, take the lid off, let it rest for a little while while we do the finish the uh, rest of the cooking. It's kind of medium high heat. Heat up some oil. Um, I'm using sunflower oil. Maybe wait for about 30 seconds to a minute, but I just look at the oil and see if it's a little bit of smoke coming off it. Oh, you can see it's a little bit vibrating, so it's about hot enough. Because if the oil is not hot enough, it's not going to get the good taste out of the ginger and spring onion. So we want the oil to be quite hot, but it also you don't want to burn down your house, so you have to look out. Because <laughs> I've once did it once I was I was heating the oil for chili uh, to make chili oil when I was in university I nearly burned burned down the house basically the pan was very very thin I was using a very thin pan and then I I didn't know I, I was the oil cooked for so long that it, it caught on fire and then because I lived with other students we didn't know what to do one of my, one of my friend poured in water and then boom <laughs> The whole kitchen went on fire. We thought the house was going to uh, get blown away, so we ran out of the kitchen, ready to call, you know, the fire brigade to come in. And luckily, the fire, boom! This is getting hot enough. See, smoky. That's this is good enough. It's getting very smoky now. So this is hot enough, so you don't want it to be too hot. You can see a little bit of smoking coming coming out of it. Then it's ready to pour it in to this um, nice sauce for the broccoli. Are we ready? 
Oh, so the hot oil will cook the spring onion and get the taste. Okay, so we've got some remaining oil in the pan, so we're going to use that to grill the red peppers we just prepared earlier on. So switch on to low heat, and then we're going to grill the peppers uh, we just prepared earlier on. Oh yeah, so where was I with the story? So yeah, luckily <laughs> uh, the house was okay. It didn't get blown. Um, uh, it didn't get yeah blown away. And the fire went down, and then everything was everyone was saved. The kitchen was okay. We just had a big black mark on the side of the wall, but yeah, everything was okay. But from that time, from that point onwards, I, I'm always very careful about hot, hot oil. <laughs> so we just grill this for maybe a few minutes, um, and we turn we would turn the peppers halfway um, halfway through. So that both sides cooks. So while we're waiting for the red pepper to be grilled, uh, I'm going to quickly prepare the sauce for the um, for this dish. So we're going to add in some soy sauce. We're going to add in some pepper. And a little bit of my secret weapon a little bit of honey to really boost the um, taste of this dish. That's it, that's the sauce. We just uh, mix it together with the broccoli and the red pepper uh, when it's ready. If you are short on time, you can just uh, skip this step. Uh, it's actually optional. We didn't used to put this in, but uh, you can actually just have the broccoli on its own. Yeah, so this step is a, a need a little bit of patience for it because we have the, we can't use too uh, too high heat so we will burn the red pepper so low heat and just turn it um, halfway through so while we wait for this to be ready um, I'll quickly share with you the story on this dish um, so the broccoli dish is actually the first ever dish I've, uh, I learned to make properly uh, I think it must be back to when I was in secondary school maybe when I was about 12 or 13 maybe at the time our, our school was going to have a cooking class and the requirement for the class was for uh, each student to bring a dish uh, that they cooked from home and uh, to be shared by all the other students and then each student gets a mark and, and see who gets the highest mark basically that's the idea so um, back then I didn't know what dish to make um, but luckily my dad uh, had a good friend who was a head chef in one of um, uh, a very well known Chinese restaurant back where we lived. So he asked him to teach me a dish that was simple and nice. So uh, the broccoli was the dish he, he taught me. When I brought in the dish uh, to the school, actually I remembered, uh, and everybody tried the dish. I think everybody loved it. I think actually I had the highest mark in the class. So when the teacher asked everybody what was, what was the best dish, I think everybody picked this dish. Now I remember. <laughs> so yeah, so that's we brought back that memory which is nice to actually to share this story with you over the years we've uh, cooked this dish many 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 times and um, it's now become our favorite dish and we've add our own kind of um, signature to it um, because when, 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 when he taught when the chef taught me back in the day in, in, in my school days he uh, he only he used uh, oyster sauce and um, soy sauce um, but now I don't really use oyster sauce I just use soy sauce and I've added in the honey the honey is my kind of take on it and the red pepper is my take on it so now this is a dish that we have maybe two three times a week so yeah we hope you will like it as well <laughs> so um, adding this I think you can actually call this like a salad a broccoli and um, ginger, sweet onion, red pepper salad because um, yeah, you can have it cold or warm and it's nice in the summer to have it quite kind of cold so you can put it in the fridge um, as well if you want to, to make it like a, like a, a cold salad dish. Ta -da! So this is ready. So this is the delicious broccoli, red pepper, ginger, sweet onion salad.
my favorite dish, our favorite dish. I'm gonna quickly make another dish to go with this, so we can have it uh, as a, a yummy lunch. Lunch is ready. This is our lunch for today. Uh, broccoli salad and the steamed egg, which uh, I have made a video on it before you can check it out. So it's time for magic. Boom! Haha! <laughs> See, as I made a lovely kung fu dishes. Thank you. Hope you enjoy this one. It's not only nice, but she makes very nice. Look at the color matched. But actually, it's a very quite nice combination. The eggs we usually say this is kind of like a fish or meat. You know, it's kind of like a similar nutrition that we usually say. And the salad is great. Yeah, so hope you like it. Now, let's have some lunch. Da, 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 da. Oh, hungry. Yeah, once you get used to this, actually, it it's very quick to make because you can steam the egg and the broccoli at the same time. You can put this uh, egg inside of the pot, broccoli on top. And then um, uh, five to ten minutes, everything's ready. <laughs> you finished? Finished. I'm so hungry. That's it. Come on, wait. Mmm. Mmm. Super. Magic. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Glad it's not my hand. <laughs> 